Setting up a VPN on a console can be difficult since you cannot install a VPN app. However, today I will share two different methods that will allow you to use a VPN on a console. Let's get right into it. But first, should you even use a VPN on your console? I think a lot of gamers will have concerns regarding ping when gaming with a VPN. Well, we made a whole video about that, which I will link in the description just below that like button. But spoiler alert, our ping stayed relatively the same as if compared to not using a VPN. And in addition, I did not notice any connection lag, even when playing competitive FPS like CSGO. So I would instead like to point out the benefits of using a VPN for gaming. Things like accessing new upcoming games early, avoiding DDoS attacks by keeping your real IP secure from hackers and cheaters, being able to join gaming lobbies from outside of your country and much more. So let's not waste any more time and let me show you how you can set up a VPN on your console. Let's start with method number one, and that is to set up a VPN on your router. With this method, your console and other devices connected to your router's Wi-Fi network will automatically have a VPN. However, one important caveat to remember is that not all routers support a VPN. For example, a lot of proprietary ISP routers don't support a VPN due to very limited router firmware. That being said, there are specific router brands and models that do support a VPN right out of the box. Some examples include routers from Asus, GLINet, and Invisbox. If you are unsure if your router will work with a VPN, you can check the manufacturer's specifications page. For instance, here Asus RT-68U is indicated to support the OpenVPN client. Now, if your router does not support a VPN, then you also have the option of flashing a custom firmware such as OpenWRT. This firmware adds tons of security and functionality features to your router, including VPN support. We will be making a tutorial on how to flash OpenWRT on your router, so get subscribed so you don't miss that video. Today, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step on how to set up an Asus router since they tend to be the most popular. And I will link other setup guides for other routers in the description below the video. The very first step in setting up your router is to download a VPN configuration file for a server you wish to connect to. We can do that by going to surfshark.com and logging in. Then select VPN and click on manual setup. Here on the side, select router. Depending on your router, you will have a choice of connecting via WireGuard, OpenVPN, and iKeyV2. Since I am using an Asus router, I'll select OpenVPN. Now here you will have two tabs, credentials and locations. Let's click on locations and then select the server we want to connect to. I'll use Tokyo, Japan. Next, click on this arrow here and select TCP or UDP. This only applies to the OpenVPN protocol and generally UDP tends to be a little bit faster while TCP is a bit more stable. I would recommend going with UDP unless you're having any kind of connection issues. This will then download an OpenVPN configuration file, which we will need in just a bit. After that, we will need to log into our router. To do that, let's open up a new tab on our browser and type in the following address into the URL bar, 192, 16811 and press enter. If you don't see the admin panel come up, then also try 192.168.0.1. Now, once you're at the login screen, you'll need to enter your router's username and password. Usually the password and the username is admin admin. If that doesn't work, in some cases, the credentials can be found on the back of your router, like on this TP-Link router here. After logging in, let's find the VPN tab and click on it. For Asus routers, make sure to select VPN client. Just below this table, press on add profile. In the pop-up, click on open VPN, and here we will need to fill out these open fields. For the description, you can name it anything you'd like. I'll name it Surfshark Japan since that's the VPN server that I've downloaded. For username and password, we will need to copy the credentials from the Surfshark website. So go back to that tab and click on credentials. Then just copy the username and paste it here. Do the same for password. And now for the OpenVPN file, click on choose file and select the VPN configuration that we've downloaded earlier. After that, press OK. And to connect to the VPN, press on activate. Back on your console, connect to the VPN router's Wi-Fi network. And just like that, VPN is on. Another method to set up a VPN on your console is to use a Windows PC 
as a virtual VPN router. For this method to work, you will need a PC with Wi-Fi support and Windows 7 or later. I will be using Windows 11, so keep in mind that some steps may vary if you are using earlier versions of Windows. Before doing anything within Windows, install the Surfshark app from the Surfshark website. Go to the URL that you see on screen to get the latest version of the app. And after installing the app, we can begin setting up the VPN hotspot on Windows. To start, here on the desktop, right-click on the Wi-Fi indicator on the bottom right and select Network and Internet Settings. Then click on Mobile Hotspot over here. After that, enable the hotspot by toggling this switch at the top. Underneath these options, press on Edit and here set the name and password for your VPN hotspot. I'll set the name to Surfshark VPN. And also also, make sure to set a strong password that includes numbers, letters, and various symbols. Then click Save. After doing that, let's go back to Network and Internet. At the bottom, select Advanced Network Settings. In this window, find an option for More Network Adapter Options and press on it. This will open up a new window that displays all of your network adapters. First, let's identify the mobile hotspot adapter that we've just created. Next to it, it should say Microsoft Wi-Fi Direct Virtual Adapter. In my case, it is Local Area Connection 10. Remember what it is for you because we will need it for a later step. Now let's find our Surfshark adapter, which should say Tap-Surfshark Windows Adapter. So for me, that is Ethernet 4. Let's right click on it and go to Properties. Then go to the Sharing tab and check the first box that says allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. After that, in this home networking connection drop-down menu, select the mobile hotspot that we've created through the Windows settings. So for me, that's once again, local area connection 10. Next, press OK, and now you can close this window. The final step is to connect to the VPN via the Surfshark app. An important thing to note is that VPN connection sharing only works while using the OpenVPN protocol. So to change it, go to Settings, VPN Settings, and then in the protocol menu, switch to OpenVPN UDP. After that, connect to the VPN location of your choice, which will also set the VPN location for your created hotspot. Now, on your console, connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot that you've created. And bam, my Xbox is now in Japan. And that rhymes actually unintentionally. By the way, if you want to know if you enable the VPN correctly on your console, then you can open up a browser and go to surfshark.com forward slash what is my IP. And if you see the green protected status, then everything is working fine. So in conclusion, is setting up a VPN on a console difficult? Well, it depends. If you have a VPN ready router, then it's really easy. We do have a top five VPN router video on our channel, which I will link in the outro of this video. But if you don't want to go through the hassle of buying a new router, then hey, sharing a VPN connection through a Windows PC is also a good option. If your PC doesn't break your back, that is like mine did. And that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if it helped you out. Subscribe to the channel to get more awesome content. And hey, here's that top five router video that I've mentioned earlier. But that's all for me. Happy gaming and take care.